Travels with Daddy here, and this is my first item, a smart heater. And it required a separate sensor for the temperature because the internal didn't work that well. So I spent, I think, an extra few dollars on buying the separate sensor, which works much better. This is the app on my iPhone, and you can see where you set the temperature, the thermostat, and you can see in the orange there that this is running on high. You can see the temperature that that sensor is reading. And this works absolutely perfectly. This is the next item, the latest in technology from AT&T M6 Pro cellular router. You can see I've got an antenna line attached to it. Let's see where that antenna line goes. It goes over here, up over the top of my door, and down here, out a little hole, and it goes outside. Let's check it out. See what I've got going here. There, the line comes out of the compartment. And it goes along this extendable painter pole all the way up to a MIMO directional antenna. Check the description for a more detailed explanation for both these devices. Now we're in the kitchen and that aqua colored thing is my air fryer. And I have some mini crescent rolls that I've rolled up and I'm putting three of them in there. I bought the parchment paper inserts for it. I'll put in the description this model and everything. It's all analog, no digital, no readouts. It's all analog and mechanical. It's, uh, I think it was a little less than $40. So times on any of this cooking you see today is dependent on your device and you just really need to experiment. This next item is really cool. It's a microwave egg cooker and it's different from those all plastic ones. The base of this is completely, it's metal encased in rubberish plastic. So it behaves as if the eggs are being cooked on a stove top versus a microwave. So I sprayed it with a little Pam, breaking both eggs in. Again, like depending on the size of your microwave and how you, you've got to experiment with this thing to see how many minutes it'll take to do it. You want a runny yolk, a soft yolk, or a hard yolk. So put it in the microwave. It's out of the microwave now. I did mine purposely with the, the yolks cooked all the way through. It took about three minutes. That's what the yolk looks like. If I went in for two minutes, it would have been a soft yolk little salt and pepper. I really like this little gadget. It's worth the money. And here are the mini crescent rolls. Three little small ones. I had to flip them once during the cooking. Just turn them over. But they're perfectly cooked. Nice and warm. Excellent. And here's a little bonus. These are onion rings from a high-end steak restaurant. They were in my fridge for a couple days, soft, and now they're nice and crispy. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to assure you that these things that I presented to you aren't official reviews. They weren't given to me. I have nothing to do with the people that sell this stuff. It just happens to be things that I recently bought that are working out well for me. And let me tell you, for stuff I buy, that's not usually the case. So I wanted to share this with you. There's a lot more detail, especially on the AT&T router. That thing, when it was released by AT&T a year ago, went for almost a thousand dollars. And uh, I bought a refurbished one just uh, about a week ago on Amazon for 200 something dollars. So I'm pretty happy with that. But details on that, I didn't want to take the time in the video to dive into that, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in the description so you understand why I'm so happy with that particular thing. The heater, I think, is pretty self-explanatory. That thing's really cool. Not so great when you're boondocking. It, it's an electric heater. It uses a lot of wattages, but if you happen to have electrical hookups, it's really great. The cooking stuff, self-explanatory. I love my little air fryer. I love that little egg cooker. What I didn't show you that I've done in videos before is my small Instant Pot. I love that too. That's been really great. Again, I'm so grateful that you watch my videos. Thank you very much. And I will see you on the next one. Take care.